Hey guys, Megan here. Welcome back to my channel. Um, if you've never been here, welcome. I want to make sure I welcome you guys, you know, each time we do this thing. That was kind of awkward, but we're going to roll with it. Today I'm doing a review for Carrie Underwood's book, Find Your Path. I've done a lot of cooking videos, recipe videos on the recipes that are inside this book which all of them have been really good so far. Some are not things that I would put into like my staples, you know, like my go-to meals. Uh, but the black bean quesadilla, that is definitely going to be put into my go-to meals because that was delicious. If you didn't see that video, I'll put a card up here somewhere so you can check that out. Um, but I just kind of want to talk about this book a little bit. Somebody on Instagram, SC underscore 346, please go leave a review. Okay, they wanted me to review the book, basically, is what they're saying. So this book is a health and fitness book. It has recipes in it. It has workouts in it. It has so much good advice in it, you guys. Like, her... Her version of a healthy lifestyle is a normal lifestyle. She's not saying that you can never have a piece of cake at that birthday party or that you can never have whatever your favorite food is, like, or that you can't have carbs. She's not saying any of that. She's just saying you need to eat healthy most of the time so that when you want to indulge and have that piece of cake or have, for me, it would be have that Coke. Um, that would be like a treat for me and I need to make it more of a treat and not like an everyday occurrence. I'm doing a little bit better. I'm drinking more water, you guys. It's a process, okay? It is a process. Um, but I really love her approach to a healthy lifestyle. It's really awesome and attainable. Is that the right word? I think it is. Um, but it's something that you can stick to because like all these fad diets, you cannot stick to them. I can't cut out sugar for the rest of my life. Are you crazy? I'm gonna share some of my favorite quotes that I read in the book as I went along my little reading journey, which by the way, this took me like less than a week to read because I was just reading, reading, reading. It's so good. Okay, so here's quote number one. God put us here to love the lives he gave us. It's not natural to deny that gift. Homegirl's preaching, okay? And then another quote, God is the engine that powers our lives. Love is the oil that keeps the engine running smoothly. And healthy living is the fuel that, that powers the engine and keeps us moving forward. I love that. So good. Milo, stop barking. Um, here's another quote. The family that prays together stays together, but the family that prays and exercises together probably lives with a lot less stress and a lot more harmony. So that's awesome. Oh gosh, my battery's blinking. I really need to get another battery for my camera. I just have one. Okay, I need a backup. Okay, I'm going to try to do this one quote and then hurry up and do this video. Uh, God gave us all bodies to live in during our time on this earth and I believe we have an obligation to take care of those bodies which are such a gift a gift to us. I would even say exercise is part of my personal value system. Our bodies are sacred and beautiful no matter who we are, how old we are, or what size we are. Keeping them in the best possible in the best possible condition is a way to honor the lives we've been given and the creator who made us with love. If God loves you, then who are you to argue that you aren't beautiful and don't deserve that self-care, strength, and peace of mind you can get from exercise? And besides, you have to live in your body for your whole life. It's only logical to take care of it so it lasts as long as possible. So those are a lot of my favorite quotes from the book. There's so many more, but um, those are the ones that I jotted down in my notes on my phone. So. Um, I'm going to try to wrap this video up because my battery's blinking. Ah! Okay. So, um, what would I rate this book? 1 out of 10. 10 being the best. It's a 10, you guys. 
Um, the only thing that was kind of difficult for me to get through um, was reading the exercises. Like, I would rather watch a video on that. Uh, but they do have the Fit52 app that you can subscribe to. I know it has like a, I think it's a two week free trial when you sign up for the Fit52 app. And like a lot of the exercises that are in this book are on that app. So you need to check out that app. Um, it's really cool. And I need to use that app more often than I have been. But your girl has not been really doing a workout. I've been working and getting a workout at work because I'm lifting and walking and all that. Um, I've been getting like 18,000 steps in a day, so. <laughs> okay, so, uh, yes, I would totally recommend you to get this book. Um, like I said, Target has the exclusive edition. You get an extra chapter, I'm pretty sure. I thought this was that, and it, I just bought the original copy, so I'm going to go to Target sometime and buy the one with the extra chapter, because I do want to read that, because... This girl, this lady is awesome, okay? Um, when you read this book, you realize how much of a normal life she has outside of her, you know, superstar job. Um, but she's an amazing person. She's super nice. I've met her a couple times. Uh, very thankful for that. Not, not rubbing it in at all. Like, I hope everybody gets a chance to meet their favorite person, okay? I hope you do. Um, but... It's just so cool to see the family pictures in the here and and all of that. The pictures are beautiful. Uh, Cameron Primo did the photography for the whole book. Melissa Slyker, I think I'm saying her name right. Carrie Underwood's makeup artist did her makeup and hair for the book for all the pictures. Um, and Cameron Primo is Melissa's son-in-law. So that's kind of cool. And... Um, yeah, it's just super neat. Um, she talks about journaling in here, which I want to really start doing and, and jotting down things about my day. Not just my food, but things that I do throughout the day and just stuff like that. Because I feel like that will really help me to kind of unwind and, and look back on it and see what I was thinking. And, you know, it'll just help me to grow more as a person. Um, so, yeah, that's it. That's my book review. Um, it's kind of short and sweet and to the point, but you know, uh, it's a very easy read. I do have an autographed copy. Thanks, Carrie. Uh, cause I got to go to her book signing and so that was super fun. I'm super glad my heat just turned off. I should have turned the heat off before I started this, but I did not. Anywho, um, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please, please, please go get this book. Um, I really, really think you'll enjoy it. Even if you're not into exercise, I still think you'll enjoy the, the healthy eating and all of the advice that's in this book. Okay, so you heard my alarm here. That's that's the cue to end this video. Um, my baby's up, so I'm going to go get her ready for the day. And don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I do have a goal of reaching 500 subscribers, so if you want to hit that subscribe button, that would be great. Don't forget to turn on post notifications, and I'll see you guys next time. Peace out.